All right, my friends, I have a $35 ribeye. That's right, $35. Today, we're gonna see if this thing will taco. That's right, that's the orange top, the new Dano's taco. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some taco sauce, just a little bit of it. We're gonna rub it in. Then we're gonna pop the top on our orange top and we're gonna sprinkle generously and I'm gonna pat it in and I'm gonna get me a fork and I'm gonna poke it in. Then I'm gonna grab the Dano's again and I'm gonna put more on it. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, you gotta use so much because there's no flavor. No, we use real sea salt, the right amount, only 50 milligrams per serving. And the rest is all natural ingredients. And it's gonna taste like taco. So I've never done this before. And we're gonna see how this turns out. So let's flip it over and do it again. And a little more Danos. Just coat it on there, look at that. And we're gonna let this sit for a good 30 minutes. Let that flavor soak in. I might even put a little more taco sauce on it. Rub that around. That should be a nice little bark when this thing grills. Let's go outside, get our fire going. Look what I got here. I got a little foil. We're gonna lay that down right there. And I got a gift from Burn Firestarter Company. Look at this. All you gotta do is take the little bag out just like that. Lay it right there on the foil. Look, and there's a bunch more in there. So this is my first time trying these. Light your match and light the bag. All right, you gotta light the bottom of the bag. I didn't read the directions. So now we just simply place this right on top. So it's been about 10 minutes and I wanted to come out here to see if they were still burning. Yep, looks like a pretty good fire starter to me. Supposedly it's got paraffin wax in there with the little pellets and that's what keeps it going. So it's doing a good job. All right, it's been about 20 minutes. Let's get these coals out. Look, our fire is still in there going. So let's pour our coals in, put on our real grate, and then we'll start cooking probably here in the next 10 minutes. All right, you guys, look at that steak, that taco seasoning, that taco mix is just caked on there. Now we're gonna see what happens. So it's only been on the grill for about three minutes. You can see it's cooking on high temperature. Give it a flip. Not really looking how I wanted it to look. <laughs> I gotta be honest. All right, it's been about a minute on this side. As you can see, look at that. It's just peeling off like a scab. It's gonna let it keep cooking. What I'm thinking is happening is that taco sauce that binded together with the seasoning, that's what's burning and peeling off like that. It's not the actual steak that's burning. This might actually end up being really good. All right, it's been about another minute. Let's give it a look. All right, let's flip it over. It just kind of knocks some of those crusties off. Got an idea. We're going to hit it with a little pop pop on the Modelo. Look here, we're going to pop the top on our orange top. I don't know about you all, but that's actually looking really good right now. Give it another flip. A little more Modelo. All right, it's time to take this inside. Look at this real quick. Look at that. That's exactly what we wanted. A nice taco char. Let's go get a bite. Look, we're gonna take this and we're gonna wrap it up like it's in its own little cocoon. Give it about 10 minutes. All right, my friends, it's time. It's been about 10 minutes. Look at that. We're taking this and pouring it right over the top. I don't know how this is not gonna be awesome. Mmm, perfectly cooked. Here we go, taco steak. <laughs> it's incredible. Wow, I've never thought to put taco seasoning on a steak before. We put the O in taco, and that right there is something special. Seriously, I know how it crusted in the beginning on that steak, and it looked didn't look good. I didn't know how it was going to turn out. Let's cut into this spinalis part real quick. This is where the real flavor is right here. Mmm, my goodness. The taco is not overpowering, but it's there. That's phenomenal. I hope you guys give this a try. And you might say, oh, damn, that's good. Yum, yum, get you some. We'll see you next time. Keep sprinkling.